Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wasman. We are once again in Unit 2 looking at multiplicative comparison problems. Multiplicative. Ugh, a mouthful. Why don't they just say, hey, we're going to multiply? Because you know what? That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to multiply or use our knowledge of multiplication to solve some problems. We're in Lesson uh, 9 of Unit 2, so let's get started. Problems 1 and 2 look a lot like the kinds of problems we did in Lesson 2.8. So uh, I'm just going to skip down to the tough one down at the pro bottom where it says complete the table. Okay, it says comparison statement, equation, and diagram all at the top of your table. Uh, in 3A, you see an example of a comparison statement four times as many as seven. So that's basically just writing out a multiplication problem using words, four times as many as seven. So the equation is the actual uh, number sentence using symbols, okay, like they do in 3B. Six times five equals 30. And then down at the bottom uh, in 3C, we have a diagram or a picture that helps us represent Okay, so let's break this down a little bit. So 3A wants us to come up with an equation that is equivalent to the statement four times as many as seven. So you've probably already guessed. I'm just going to take the two digits or numbers from that comparison statement, four and seven, and make that into my multiplication problem. And of course, four times seven is... 28. So now what I need to do is create a diagram that shows that comparison four times as many as seven. Okay, so let's start by creating seven of something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there are seven dots or they're supposed to be dots, in red up at the top. What I could do here is then create four times as many as that. Okay, so I could do blue dots, or I can differentiate. And I'm going to do four rows of them because I'm doing four times as much as seven. Okay, so in my diagram right here, I now have equivalent of 28, which is four times as many as seven. And that's all there is to it here. We are just translating words into number sentences or equations, and then we are representing those equations as pictures. That's what the diagrams are for. Okay? Uh, Take a look at these problems, try them out. If you have questions, ask your teacher for help. Otherwise, we will talk again soon. Thanks.